Maine's more than 7,000 farms produce all kinds of valuable goods from potatoes to blueberries, even broccoli. But did you know that some of them make a lot of natural gas? A few farms in the Clinton area are working with Summit Natural Gas and Peaks Renewables now to provide local residents with a sustainable fuel for cooking and heating their homes. And as News of Maine's Drew Peters shows us tonight in our latest in a series of reports on Maine's changing climate, all that energy is coming from cows. Dairy cows like these in Clinton are known for the milk they produce. They also help create something just as valuable and much stinkier. That's 8,000 gallons of manure coming from one of our partner farms. Tim Wade is the plant manager for Peaks Renewables Natural Gas Digester. Our process is 100% renewable. That's, you know, hands and, hands and, and feet above um, the typical process of drilling and extracting. A device that turns cows natural gas into the gas that Summit uses to heat the homes of residents all around the area. And as those solids break down, they release uh, a biogas um, and about 40 to 60% of that biogas is methane. Yes. Wade says they've been seeing a lot of success from their partnership with five different dairy farms in Maine. So much that they're partnering with the Caverly Dairy Farm right down the road and doubling the digester's storage capacity to accommodate the extra manure that will come with it. It's a win for, for the environment, it's a win for Peak, and it's a win for us. Owner of Caverly Farms, Neil Caverly, says he and his farmhands spend valuable time and effort collecting, transporting, and processing manure from their more than 1,000 cows. But right now we're spreading manure daily. Are, are moving manure daily. The digester would not only save him that time, but also create valuable byproducts for the farm, like a reliable and nutritious fertilizer they can use on their crops to feed the cows. It's just gonna be less trips across the fields, more concentrated nutrients. A product that's not only more effective, but less harmful to the nose. It takes the smell of the cow manure out too. Barney Wright and the Wright Place Farm have been partnering with Peaks Renewable for two years and say one of the most valuable things that comes from the relationship is the fiber bedding that's also created as a byproduct of the digesting process. Try to embrace some of that as, as, a, uh, as a renewable source instead of sourcing everything, sourcing, sourcing. A shift towards more sustainable farming methods is something Wright not only wants to be a part of, but a lifestyle he wants to pass on through his family for years to come sort of setting up the next generation is what my mind was. And while the partnership brings a lot of benefits to the farms and Peaks Renewables, one unexpected byproduct of the project has been the strong relationship that's been formed between everyone involved. If anything, it builds a closer relation so we're, we are connecting closer, you know, verbally. Officials with Peaks Renewables say they're hoping to have all expansions on the digester finished by May of 2025. In Clinton, Drew Peters, New Center, Maine.